Hi, folks. Welcome to Carisco's Corner. Say that Americans are well positioned to weather this stock market decline. What is the president's message to somebody who might want to retire, but their 401k is getting wiped out? So we know we know that the that high prices are having a real effect on people's lives. We get that. And we are incredibly focused on doing everything that we can to make sure that it, the economy is working for every American people. But we are coming out of the strongest job market in in American history and that matters and that a lot of that is thanks to the American Rescue Plan which only Democrats uh voted for that, Republicans did not and it led to uh this this economic boom the, the historic economic boom that that we're seeing Didn't with jobs. But we are coming out of the strongest job market in, in American history, and that matters. And that a lot of that is thanks to the American Rescue Plan, which only Democrats uh, voted for that, Republicans did not, and it led to uh, this this economic boom, the, the historic economic boom that we're seeing Didn't with jobs. Didn't historic inflation? No, that is no. not. That is that is that is not uh, that is not how we're seeing the American Rescue Plan. But we are. President Biden once bragged about the stock market hitting record after record after record on my watch. How about now? Meaning the stock market. All the gains from President Biden's time in office have been wiped out. So, as you know, we're watching. We're watching closely. Uh, we know families are concerned about inflation in the stock market. Uh, that is something that the president is is really aware of. And so, look, we face global challenges. We've talked about this. Uh, this is we're not the only country dealing uh, with what we're seeing at the moment as it relates to inflation. You know, Putin, Putin's price hike, inflation uh, coming coming out of a once in a generation uh, global pandemic. All all of those things play a factor. The president seemed to say over the weekend that his trip would not focus on energy. Um, you said just now that any trip to the region will focus on delivering results for the American people. Um, if that's the case, why not make energy a major topic of the of the trip, considering gas prices are, are such a big well, let part me, of what? Let me first say there there's no trip to announce at this point. Uh, I, I'm 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 just saying that there's nothing to preview for you at this time. But I'll say this. Um, you know, to view engagement with Saudi Arabia on energy security as asking for oil is simply wrong, uh, and a misunderstanding of both the complexity of that issue and our multifaceted discussions with the Saudis. Uh, that said, Saudi Arabia is the chair, as you know, of OPEC Plus and its largest exporter. Of course, we discuss energy with Saudi government as we do with oil producers around the world, and we welcome its leadership in achieving a consensus amongst uh, the group members last week. Uh, inflation has been above 5% for an entire year now. Um, why did the president wait until almost December to decide who would be leading the Federal Reserve? Um, the president has taken, uh, taken the economy as a whole uh, and inflation very seriously. Uh, most presidents, I'm guessing, would say they don't pay attention to the polls. Um, but does President Biden feel any concern that his approval rating is, is really pretty amazingly low and consistently low. Um, I believe today went under the average around 40% the first time. The president's focus on delivering for the American people. That's his focus right now. First, um, what is the White House, what is the latest update the White House has received on the current infill formula situation across the country? Yeah, let me see if I have anything new for you on that. Uh, I think it's been a couple of days since we have asked, been asked that question. Okay. I don't have anything new. I know we made some announcements last week. Uh, I, don't, I just don't have them in front of me. But if you want to come back and we'll, we'll talk through uh, the things that we have been able to do in the past, the most recent activities that we've done. It's now been reported that the marshals, uh, our administration assigned to help protect judges, were instrumental uh, in the person not accomplishing the horrible deed it, he set out to do. This is the threat that we saw against Kavanaugh. And so we have taken this very seriously. Like you said, we have com condemned, it, condemned it, the president has, and we will continue to do so. Recently, the family of Ahmad Sharji told CBS he's um, an American Iranian citizen who's detained in Iran four years ago. His family told our colleague Margaret Brennan that they've requested a meeting with the president numerous times, has not received a response from the White House, 
their latest request was a couple weeks ago. They also haven't received a request from the State Department. Is there any update on when this meeting may take place? I don't have an update for you. I'm happy to uh, check with the team. Um, uh, that is also a question for uh, State Department as they handle uh, those types of, of uh, engagement situations. Uh, as you know, the President is committed uh, to bringing home U.S. nationals uh, that are being held abroad, and that is a, a commitment that he has made to the American people. Okay.